Hey, it's Navelle J. Lee from BuzzWaveRadio.net here at Universal City Walk for the fourth annual Days of Our Lives event, A Day of Days. And what better way to celebrate our four-year anniversary than right here? So stay tuned as we get some of your favorite interviews for some of your favorite Days of Our Lives stars. a long, wonderful courtship. Now, I never really got to experience, you know, Doug and Julie in, in my not. time. Uh, obviously, and, and, and you know, I would. You're three decades <laughs> too late, babe. <laughs> <laughs> but your grandma knew. Yes, and my mother. And your mom. And my mom. And, and this demonstrates what has made Days of Our Lives such a good long run. It's been intergenerational forever. Yeah. We had people come and say, "My little three-year-old watches," and my gram. And I said, "Oh, would you? Can I do an autograph for your gram?" Well, she's gone. But we're all still, we inherited the show. That's our legacy. So. And, you know, this is the perfect way to segue this question in is, since I'm asking you two, what is the magic that is Doug and Julie, in your opinion? Well, what is the magic of Doug and Julie? Interesting thing. Susan and I met in 1970. We married in 1974, October 1974. Two years later, October of 1976, Doug and Julie married, and they used the same words, exactly the same words. The same wedding same words. ceremony. They asked us what, what we would like. What we would like to use, and oh. we said, well, how about this? And they said, perfect. So it was very moving to use the words that we had actually got married to. This is not a direct answer to his question. It's not? I think the... Uh, <laughs> I thought it was... Uh, it's close. <laughs> it's close. It's close. Uh, the man who was head writing the show at that time, Bill Bell, who went on to produce and write, of course, Bold and Beautiful and The Young and the Restless, had knew Bill from his uh, singing career, didn't know me, but he had hired me. He watched us from his apartment in Chicago because he didn't live in California. He liked to watch it like the rest of the United States watched the show. He saw a spark moving between us. He discarded the plan he had for our storylines put us together and wrote love scene after love scene after love scene. It was nice. It was heaven. <laughs> it was heaven. And I'm not, I'm not I, I was gradually falling deeper and deeper in love with Billy. And this man saw it happening before I did. Wow. And built it into the show. So it was a, uh, it was a natural phenomenon that the audience got to share. Also, I'm still crazy about him. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Well, he deserves to have somebody crazy about him. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope to see more Doug and Julie on screen. Thank please you, my let, dear. Thank please you. let that happen. Thank so you. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Thank A pleasure. You.